Hey, what is up? Back at it again with another reaction video. This is another conservative twins. Like I said before, always keep your mind open to two sides of the stories. Don't always stick with one story. Don't worry. Shit won't get corny. I just had a rhyme for a second, but on some real shit. If you get offended by this, just just keep in just keep in mind. Keep your mind open. Shit. Not sleep. It's called Ice Cube takes heat for working with Trump. Of course, it'll, um, the title will be that way. But anyways, the original link for this will be down below. Huge appreciation. Like, comment, subscribe, and share all that positive energy. We like Goku, the spirit bomb. Throwing it at the haters' face. Also, the matrix face. Let's get it. Time for a new show. But first, let's pay some of Harsh Twins bills. <laughs> Make out you a patriotic t-shirt today. Yeah, we selling these hats. Socialist and distance. Yeah, go to officialharshtwins.com. Use discount code Chinese virus. I get you 20% off. Bet. Let's go, big guys. <laughs> now, Ice Cube is in the news. He done sold out to the white man. <laughs> Yo, what the heck? Yo, the f <laughs> Why is it edited like that? Yo, that's. <laughs> what the f <laughs> Sell Whatever. out, he's a coon. That's what black people call him. That's what yeah. the black community is calling him. Now, let me get, let me tell y'all what's going on. I'm kind of upset, man. They just gonna call him a coon, a sellout, man. You know how hard we had to work for that? No, man. And they just gonna give it to Cube. When I think of Cube, man, I think 100% black. <laughs> I yeah. think of pure blackness. I don't think of sellout. Yeah, but anyway, let me tell y'all what's happening. Yeah, now, <clears throat> a few weeks back, Trump came out with this plan to help the black communities. Five hundred billion dollars worth. He even gave it a black name. He called man, man, it's the craziest thing. Like, even when they're putting so much effort to actually helping people, they find ways to just say that they're lying. This is not true. This is fake. See, this is a, that's why a lot of shit pisses me off about certain um certain networks on TV because it's complete of bullshit. Like, come on, man. Yeah. Let me stop. Call it the platinum plan. <laughs> I mean, if you go <laughs> come over to plan for black people, you gotta have a black name to it. Oh, yeah, yeah. black people like stuff when it goes platinum, right? Even when you put it as a black name or something like that, they're gonna still say, oh, that's racist. Why does it gotta be? I'm like, what? What do y'all niggas want? And Shit. It's, it's a $500 billion investment that goes into black communities to help uh, close that wealth gap between black and white. Yeah. It's to help bring more opportunity for black people uh money to start black owned business mm -hmm. it closed the wealth gap right yeah so cube hears about this cube's like man that sounds good yeah. and y'all know cube's got plenty of money but he looking at other black people he's like man damn y'all ain't got no money <laughs> man. cube don't only have to curl right he went there to sit down with the trump administration to make sure to see if he goes well man. yeah just to all right that's all that matters people we like we we need to unite on some real shit. Like, how you gonna call somebody this word or this word when they're actually trying to you know have the president have our back and stuff like that? It doesn't make sense clearly. Clearly, you just want to. Well, I already know what's going on, but like, there's just more separation than um, uniting. That that's how I think of it. Even when um we're we're trying to unpatch. Um, you know, the, the stuff that's happening now, you know, we're trying to stick together, but there's always someone else or something else is trying to detach that shit and make fake lies about certain people. That's how I see it in um, some of these um, shows. To, to see that this plan becomes a reality, to make sure we can maximize this $500 billion in the communities who really need it. Yeah, he's not working for the Trump administration. Yeah, he's not in the backyard picking cotton. Yeah, he's actually there working for other black people because, like I said, yeah. he got money. This dude started off as a rapper. Yeah. Then he came uh, an actor. Yeah, now he's writing movies. And now the dude's writing movies. Mm. And for black people, for you to call this man a sellout, just, just look at it at this point. Y'all rather help Joe Biden? I mean, Joe Biden, if you look at this man's record, I mean, y'all asking Trump to denounce racism, white supremacy, when he has no ties to racism. If you look at Biden's record, he has strong ties to racism. Yeah. Segregationist, white yeah. supremacist. Yeah, he actually, Joe Biden actually spoke at a um, 
Robert Byrd, he was a, a senator for like 40, 50 years. And he used to, uh, that senator who died, they were speaking of eulogy for, he was once in the KKK. He was actually, at one point in time for the KKK, he was a recruiter. Yeah, that's big time. That's big time. He's out there going to the other white people saying, hey, hey, you want to join the clan, boy? We need some good white men like yourself because you know these black people, they're using our white women against us mm. because they got them good genes to make them black babies. <laughs> we need good, strong, young bucks like yourself. Them good genes, that blonde hair, that blue eyes because once these black people get a hold of our women, yeah, black babies coming out. <laughs> Those some strong genes. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Let's get serious. Yeah, yeah. The reason why we bring up Robert Byrd, that yeah. senator, yeah. who was once a, again a recruiter for the KKK, yeah. um, when he died, Biden was at his funeral giving a eulogy. Yeah. And Biden had also ties with segregationists. Kamala Harris even called that out when she was trying to run for president. So mm. if y'all gonna ask uh, Trump to denounce white supremacy in the KKK, which he has been doing even long before he was in the politics. Yeah. And he's done it several times. All you have yeah. to do is a quick Google YouTube search. Yeah. If y'all go ask him that question, why ain't y'all asking Joe Biden the same question? And don't forget about Joe Biden's crime bill. Thank you. This is what I've been saying for a long time. Y'all niggas want to talk about one person, but y'all don't want to talk about the other person. What kind of bullshit life are we living? What in the fucking tarnation has this world become? Yo. Yo, I'm sorry that I got a little hostile, but man. Those guys were speaking to my soul, and my soul was like, yo, let them know this shit. Like, <laughs> man. You, th these guys ain't speaking to me. They speaking to my soul. My soul is just, yo, I have enough of this shit. Let me speak how I really feel. Yo. You're going somewhere. Orchestrated to to incarcerate black men and, and destroy black families. Yeah, the ninety four crime bill that Joe Biden wrote and sponsored that locked up a lot of black people. Destroyed black families. If that, anybody's a sellout, is hell is not Ice Cube. Yeah, mm. Joe Biden. That crime bill rest, had black people locked up for just smoking weed. And y'all and black people keep saying this system is corrupt. Joe Biden is the system. He wrote the crime bill. He sponsored it. Yeah, and y'all voting for Joe Biden if anybody's a sellout is you. Besides, keep politics out of it. Trump doesn't, ag I mean, uh, Ice Cube doesn't agree with Trump's politics. He I'm sure endorsed. he doesn't. Yeah. He hasn't he endorsed doesn't. Trump. I'm yeah. sure he, some things about Joe Biden he disagree with. Yeah. But yeah. the main reason why he... It's about the information that's being... It, <laughs> it's, it's complicated to explain, like... That guy, Ice Cube, is an open-minded person. So if he agrees with certain things that Trump says, it doesn't necessarily mean that he's a supporter. He supports like the things that he's saying, partial of the things that he's saying to help out the black community. Like versus the, versus um you know the other pre, uh, other vice person, other guy who's um, running for president too. Um, he, you don't really hear enough about that. It it's crazy to me like. The more Trump tries to, you know, help the black people, you know, our brothers and sisters, the more the news twists and turns it around and says that he's doing wars for the black community. You know what I mean? Like I said before, it's my manipulation tactics to fuck up your brain and make you think a different way. I might have to censor some of these words, but... He was there was to help you. Politics... Politics aside, yeah. he was there to help further the black community. And that's yeah. the only thing y'all should care about. Not that Trump's a Republican. That doesn't even make sense. Right. He's there to help you and only you. Yeah, what Joe Biden got in store. That dude's been in politics for 47 years. 47 years, man. He ain't did nothing for y'all. Yeah, now he's going to save the community. Look, if your life's screwed up right now, because of you. Yeah. Cop because... didn't pull you up because you was black. Cop didn't pull me up because I was black. Cop pulled me over because I was doing 80 and a 15. <laughs> That's why he pulled me over. His race had nothing to do with it. This dude was reckless. Yeah. It's like, if your life is screwed up right now, no politician can save you. Yeah. When my life was screwed up, politician didn't help me. Yeah. When I decided to take care of myself, help myself, that's when my life turned around. So if your life is screwed up, 
It's up to you. No yeah. politician can give you the American dream. And see, and Democrat politicians been feeding y'all that bull for decades, and y'all buy it. No, you're yeah. not in that position because of white supremacy. You're in that position well, because sorry. you five hundred billion dollars go to inner cities to provide more opportunities to blacks. Even still, you still don't have a job. You still don't have a small business. You still got to come up with an idea. You still got to interview for the job. That's why we're trying to tell you, nobody can change your life. A politician can't give you the American dream. You have to work on that. Yeah, a politician to give Cube his uh, American dream. That dude worked hard for that. Yeah, a politician to give us our American dream. Yeah. You have to work for that. Cube's actually now trying to work for y'all, and he's a sellout. Y'all crazy as hell. I swear... Oh man, my, my laptop about to die. Damn. I swear even if you know, shout out to shout out to him. Even though he has um back background history that's bad. Even if Martin Luther King was alive this day and he was actually agreeing with what, you know, Trump was saying, they'll they'll betray this man. They'll backstab him and say, Oh, oh you betrayed our people, you betrayed our race. Even with uh, Malcolm X, my brother right there too, even if he was to agree with some things that Trump was saying, even a little bit, they'll say, bro, you are a sellout, you are the C to the N. I mean, like, yo, shit's crazy. I might even get demonetized for this because it's the truth, you know what I mean? The red pill. Crazy. Dude's a sellout now. Hey, they don't call y'all liberals for nothing. Trump 2020. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Damn, what's that? <laughs> Side effect. Yo, my, my, my shit is about to die quick. But anyways, yo, keep your mind open. Listen to the truth, not the lies. Anyways, the rich John Link this will be down below. Huge appreciation. Like, comment, subscribe, share all the positive energy. We're like, oh, cool, this rear bump. Don't have to hate face. Also, the major face for the 2K subscribers. All right, let's get